Hey everyone, Meme Squad 64 here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be talking about the new gameplay footage from Sonic Frontiers released by IGN. What are my thoughts about it, things that concern me, and a question that did come in my head. That being, is this going to be worth the hype? All this will be answered, and without further ado, let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is Sonic's moveset from both the IGN gameplay footage and the teaser they released yesterday. It looks like Sonic is going to have some combat skills, and I think it's clear to say that Sonic is about to throw hands in Frontiers. Which, i like to see this, see more of this as the game comes to near release. The open world looked beautiful. A concern in that in the Sonic community, including myself, were worried that it lacked some of, that so some of the Sonic elements from past games. The IGN gameplay clearly shows us that it, some of those elements are from past games are not completely absent since all in the Star Fall Islands. I can't wait to see more of the environment and how Sonic reacts to it. And we we can see that new animations for Sonic's model, such as climbing, running on walls. The part where it's like he's running on walls, this isn't new to the Sonic series, despite it only appearing once in Sonic Lost World. I think it might have appeared in Forces, I don't think, I'm not too sure. Although, some of the animations does look unfinished, such as performing tricks. I understand since the game is still in development, but I do hope that Sega finishes and polishes it by the release date. There are some new things to do, such as puzzles and this hamster wheel thing, which I'm a bit confused on what it does in-game, if it, whether it's related to the story or not. I do hope everything gets explained, like, as the game leads up to release. Now that I talked about something, stuff that I love about this so far, I'm about to talk about some things that are starting to concern me. The first concern is that the Sonic Forces model is still present. Multiple fans, including me, were worried and kind of pissed off that the Forces model would be the final model in Frontiers. Some people are thinking that it might be a placeholder, which I hope is the case. But what I did notice at the beginning of the IGN gameplay video is I noticed that Sonic actually has idle animations, so that's an improvement. Another concern is the animation. No, wait, hold up. Oh yeah, it's the animation. Sorry, I, I'm just reading the script and shit, so... Excuse me, as if I'm breaking stuff, whatever. Yes, the animation is another concern. Like, but it's not a real concern, it's like, what if, question for me. That being, like, since it has unfinished animations, what if that doesn't go change, doesn't go and does go unchanged? And my final concern is the combat skills. What if it could be spammed? Think about it, if people can spam his movesets, there are probably going to be some complaints from multiple fans. And that's all the concerns I have for the game. But as the question is like, that being, is it going to be worth the hype? To me, I don't really want to get my hopes up too much. Not after last time when Sonic Forces was hyping it up, I was like, what, 11 or 12 at the time? So I thought it was because Sonic was going to have a darker tone story, but clearly we all know how Sonic Forces turned out. But I do have hope that this game could be good, if not better than Forces. It it it, it could probably be clear that it's it's going to be better than Forces could ever hope to be. But we'll just have to see as the game continues to build up hype around it. And with that said, the video is over. I got more Sonic discussions planned. So if you don't want to miss any of them, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment what you think about the upcoming Sonic Frontiers. This is MemesGood64 signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.